Oh, come on. <laughs> the hemophilia community is missing a few critical things. Well, the natural production of coagulation proteins, for one. Mm -hmm. uh, our own airline, tax breaks. You know what it's also missing? You reviewing the application essays for the scholarship fund. Oh, yeah, we're not going to do that today. Spencer, you insisted on creating the scholarship program, and we've been receiving applications every day. <laughs> so how about Franklin and I okay, review look, them? We're overlooking the most important omission from the community. A celebrity leader. People love celebrities. Just think, where would the Beatles have ever gone if they hadn't brought in John Lennon? Doesn't make any sense. How popular would money be if presidents weren't on it? The exact same popular. Disney would be a ghost town if they hadn't signed Mufasa. Spencer, that's This community needs a Mufasa. A celebrity. Someone to say, hemophilia is so bomb, I wish I had it. Someone big. Like Gandhi. Do you think he'd do it? I don't know, let's give him a call. Gandhi's dead. Really? How did that happen? Let's start with um, celebrities with hemophilia. Ooh, I like that. Are there any? Gandhi? Maybe. Gandhi died a long time ago, okay? That's off the table. You never get your first choice, do you? How about celebrities living with hemophilia? Gandhi. No. No. Look, you know, we're going about this in the wrong way, okay? We're inside the box right now. We have to go under the box. Outside the box. Under the box. No, the expression is outside the box. Uh, expressions are cliche. Cliches are inside the box ways of thinking. We have to go under the box. Spencer, what's under the box? Well, where are celebrities? Television? No, no, like where do they physically, where do they gather? I'm not sure. Hey, Jackie, I'm gonna need you to get under the box for me. Hey, Jackie. Hi, Benny. Let's focus, guys. Celebrities. Where do they commune? El Paso? Bigger. Seattle? Bigger. Virginia Beach? Where is that? Uh, Jacksonville? It's too buggy. Wichita? Oh, God, no. Baltimore? The Wire? Detroit? Bankruptcy? Okay, we're just playing word association now. This isn't helping. Well, do you have any ideas, Franklin? Yes. Where we are right now, New York City. Are you even paying attention? I'm going to ignore the part where this is insane, and I'm going to say from a purely practical level, we don't have the budget to travel anywhere for anything. It's fine, if we're tight on money, we can just send me by myself. If you want to do a celebrity manhunt, you can do it here in New York City. End of story. Franklin, you work in television, right? Have for what, 30, 35 years? Wait, how old do you think I am? Certainly nobody works in TV for that long without developing a single celebrity relationship. So, Franklin, who do you know? Hey guys, we're about to reinvent the game. Wheel. Are you wearing cologne? I'm going to the post office later. It's overpowering the baby powder. Thank you. No, it's not a compliment, Benny. My uncle's Ben Kingsley. Who is this? It's a Philly fanatic. He's gonna go. Right over there. Do we know him? Oh, we know him. Solid. I guess I shouldn't ask if they picked a destination. I wouldn't. Oprah's from Chicago. Chicago? And I think Chicago's... Chicago's a state. I'm from Chicago State. You okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So do you have any plans this weekend, or...? Uh, no. Not... nothing planned. Uh, you're probably just hanging out with your, your boyfriend or something, right? Oh, I don't have... Um, no, I... nothing... concrete. Me neither. I've got zero plans. 
Zero, absolutely no plans at all. Nothing. Okay. Hi. Hello. I have a package for you. Pardon? Wait, what, uh, what is it, a package? I can pick it up, like what is going on with that, huh? It's for a Spencer Adams. More essays. Great. Sorry? Oh, sorry. Um, I, I, can, I can take okay. that. Just need your Jane Hancock. <laughs> Edward James almost what? Edward James almost. There you go. What? It's a gorgeous signature. Yeah, we all enjoy handwriting. Thank you. Do you want a glass of water or something? It's really hot out. Yeah. It's not that hot out. He's probably got a lot of places. He that needs to go, actually so. would be amazing. Thank you very much. Yeah, sure. I just got to. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Where's Marco? Sorry? Marco. He's uh, short, very fat. He looks like a goblin. He got hit by a bus yesterday. So he's probably not coming back? No. And this is your route now? Yep. Every day. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a destination. nervous about leaving the team behind. I left them a ton of stuff to do. Or maybe I just told them to take a long weekend? I don't remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to Vegas, baby! my new hair comes in, I'm gonna look five years younger. Also thinner. And girls will like me. I've also got dye for my beard. I'm gonna have my hair plugs go all the way down to here, and then I'm gonna have my beard lasered off. I'll be the face of the new young generation of middle management. When Wired does their, their big piece on the 30 under 30, question mark, they will put me in there because they won't know. No one will. That's how realistic these plugs are gonna be.